Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Art Jarrett. Okay, once more into it again, we go to the freeze warning here. You're going to see these temperatures are dipping down until 9 a.m. this morning. So if you're in that area for the next four hours or so, you're going to see cold temperatures still holding on to your location. 30s and some 20s working down into Bradley. In fact, Bradley may have just dipped down. In fact, you can see, yep, they're still at 22. You get into Salinas at 43 degrees. Hollister at 30. You get a little bit uh, more to the north of 39 in San Jose, and then you're seeing 38 in Santa Cruz. That's where they were at yesterday. 38 for Wantsville, 46 in Monterey, and 54 as you get into Big Sur. The Thomas Fire, again, it's all about the winds for this fire. It's all about the, the high pressure ridge that continues to swirl these winds back through the area, and that's going to last till about Friday. So imagine how much of this, uh, this fire is going to probably expand, and you've already seen there are already two more fires, and we'll probably see a couple of more as goes along and it's not to be uh, cruel, but uh, these winds are getting it up to 50 to 60 to 70 miles per hour yet again. Today our forecast here locally 60 to 71 degrees. Plenty of sunshine for you and cooler temperatures with a warming trend on the way. You're going to see the numbers up in Salinas around 71 degrees. Then you're going to see widespread temperatures from the mountains all the way back down to the Monterey Peninsula down to Big Sur as well. How about Carmel Valley, the highlands all the way down into King City and Arroyo Seco. You're going to see those numbers from uh, 70 degrees to around 69 degrees. You're going to see more of the 70s, the upper 60s here, getting into Hollister as well. 65 in Gilroy, 70 in San Jose. Now tonight, yeah, we're going to see clear and cold conditions again with areas of frost, moderate winds. And then with the winds themselves, that's going to stave off any type of uh, cold air really sticking around near the beaches as well. So we're going to see mostly uh, winds up to 20 miles per hour in the mountains, 26 to 41 degree temperatures. That is very cold. And then we go to the next eight days. And then what I have for you here, we're looking at 60 to 71 degrees today. We're going to warm up temperatures about three degrees in some cases, getting up to warmer conditions for Friday. And you can see that's when we have our share your holiday. So after that, you bask in the glow of helping uh, those less fortunate than, than you may be. Then you're going to see by Saturday and Sunday, temperatures will increase for you for a good looking day to enjoy the central coast. And that continues into Sunday. But I've just noticed in some of the models that the winds are going to be picking up once we get into Sunday as well, carrying over to Monday, possibly Tuesday, coming out of the southeast. So once you get into the overnight temperatures, you're going to see they're going to remain fairly cold around the upper 20s to around 30 degrees and then getting up into the 40s. So that's something we're going to have to contain. Uh, yourself. So bundle up and make sure you're going to see uh, some uh, some more of the sunshine coming in today. That cold air will cease and eventually we'll get into some warmer conditions. Mm -hmm.